If you struggle with shyness or social anxiety, check out our free no BS training course with actual useful advice you can do from home. None of that just get out there nonsense. The link is in the description below. For now, let's get to today's question. The question, what are some examples of anxiety disorder? Answer by Yaki Nal Hakamad Sikander. Well, all of us every now and then feel anxious about various events of life under different unfavorable circumstances. But generally a condition reaches the level of a disorder when it interrupts with your daily life functioning. This is the thumbs rule to distinguish between a disorder and normal sadness or anxiety. Anxiety is very complex and can manifest in countless forms. Some of the general symptoms of anxiety include rapid heartbeat, heart palpitations, nausea, dizziness, headaches and chest pains, shortness of breath, sweaty hands or tingling hands or feet, muscle tension, insomnia, general uneasiness, dry mouth. Broadly classified, anxiety disorders can be classified into seven. Generalized Anxiety Disorder GAD. Post Traumatic Stress Disorder PTSD. Obsessive Compulsive Disorder OCD. Social Phobia Panic Disorder Agoraphobia Specific Phobias Here is a brief explanation of them. Generalized Anxiety Disorder GAD. Generalized Anxiety Disorder GAD. Is an anxiety disorder whose symptoms include chronic anxiety, exaggerated worry and tension, even though there might be very little or nothing to provoke it. Post Traumatic Stress Disorder PTSD. Post Traumatic Stress Disorder PTSD, is an anxiety disorder that usually can develop after going through a traumatic event that might have caused great emotional or physical harm. Events that can trigger PTSD include war, violent personal assaults, sexual abuse, accidents, etc. Obsessive Compulsive Disorder OCD. Obsessive Compulsive Disorder OCD, is an anxiety disorder that can be characterized by obsessions I. E. Recurrent, ruminating in unweighted thoughts or slash and repetitive behaviors, compulsions. Repetitive behaviors such as hand washing, counting, checking, or cleaning are often performed with the hope of preventing obsessive thoughts or making them go away. Social phobia, social phobia, or social anxiety disorder, is an anxiety disorder in which overwhelming anxiety and excessive self-consciousness occurs in everyday social situations. Social phobia can manifest in one or several forms, such as public speaking, etc. But in the more severe forms a person experiences the symptoms almost every time they are around people. Panic disorder Panic disorder is an anxiety disorder and is characterized by unexpected and repeated episodes of intense fear accompanied by physical symptoms that may include chest pain, heart palpitations, shortness of breath, dizziness, or abdominal distress. Agoraphobia Agoraphobia is the fear of going out in public, either the fear of open spaces or the fear of being in unfamiliar places. Many people with agoraphobia either never leave their home, or do anything they can to avoid traveling anywhere other than their home and office. Many people, although not all, that have agoraphobia underscore also have panic disorder. That's because for many, agoraphobia is often caused by panic attacks. People experience panic attacks in public places, so they start to avoid more and more places in order to avoid panic attacks until they are afraid to go outside. Some people experience agoraphobia after traumatic events as well. Specific phobias Phobias are intense feelings of fear because of objects, scenarios, animals, etc. Phobias generally bring about disaster thinking, believing that the worst will happen, or avoidance behaviors, doing whatever it takes to avoid the phobia. An example of a common P. Phobia is arachnophobia, or fear of spiders. Very few spiders are likely to bite and even fewer are dangerous, and yet many people experience a feeling of severe dread at even the idea of a spider. Other examples of common phobias include snakes, airplanes, thunderstorms, and blood. I hope this answers your question. Live strong. Peace and blessings. Answer by, Bonnie Londino. Feeling irrational fear, feeling as if you are having trouble breathing, flight or flight responses triggered, X. Adrenaline, cortisol and responding fearfully as opposed to excitedly. Sweaty palms, hyperventilating. An extremely difficult fearful reaction sometimes as bad as feeling as if you have a gun barrel pointed in your face. There are several kinds of AD. OCD, agoraphobia, technically, fear of the op. And marketplace, G. A. D. General anxiety disorder, feeling afraid with seemingly no reason to feel fear. Think of the physical reactions, once again, when one is very excited, but reacts fearfully and instead of happily excited. 
you will know if anxiety occurs. There is treatment for it, cognitive behavioral therapy and biofeedback, practice deep breathing and meditation. All of those things are helpful. Answer by, Henning Zucker. All is a tall order, and mostly dependent on what lines you choose to draw between them. However, I would say that specific phobia, social anxiety, generalized anxiety disorder, panic disorder, obsessive compulsive disorder and post-traumatic stress disorder are a good starting point. There are many versions of these, of course. You could also add in the various functional disorders and the cluster C personality disorders.